Hi, this is Barry Lewis along with Mike Brown and welcome to week three of the high school football season. And before we look at this week's big games, Mike, what happened in Texas last week to Jenkson Union? <laughs> well, nothing so terrible. Um, Union had a very competitive game with Euless Trinity. That was like watching two college teams beat on each other. Very a wonderful atmosphere for a Saturday night game. I worried, frankly, how many people would be there. But um, uh, Union will be fine. Um, e Union needs to find a little offense right now. But uh, that was a very competitive 21-18 game. They had a chance to win. Jinx uh, played great for a half. Uh, DeSoto's terrific. And when Trayvon... Uh, Barre got hurt. Um, it was kind of um, um, so kind of when the game ended. So this week, Union and Jinx will try to bounce back. Union is hosting Broken Arrow in a rematch of last year's Class 6A state championship game, while Jinx will play Owasso. And Mike, um, uh, your thoughts on the Union and Broken Arrow game and Jinx and Owasso? Well, the, the Union Jinx game is, is or the Broken Arrow uh, Union game is really hard to figure right now because you're talking about two teams. You don't know where their heads are going to be. Uh, I would think that Broken Arrow, the people who remember last year's game, might want revenge, but the, it wasn't that they got whipped in that game. They kind of gave that game away in a sense, and, and so... Uh, Union is struggling a little right now, so it'll be interesting to see who, who comes in. I think it's hard to predict who will, who will put their best foot forward. Jinx Owasso, uh, sorry to see what happened to Owasso the other, the other night with the, with the game wiped off the books, but uh, that's um, uh, interesting will be who does Jinx suit up this week with all the injuries they have. Yes, that's a big problem with Jinx. And as they try to avoid an 0-3 start. They're 0-2 for the first time since 1986. Uh, another big game on Friday will be Booker T. Washington against East Central, a rematch of the All-City Preview Championship from a few weeks ago, and also a rematch of the 2010 5A State Championship game. They've been Tulsa Public Schools' two dominant teams in the past decade, and it appears they are again this year, although Memorial might have an argument there as the Chargers are off to a great 2-0 start, but Booker T. and East Central this week who do you think is going to win, Mike? Uh, right now, uh, again, hard to, to predict, but uh, Booker T's been, been pretty strong in its first two games, so, so I'll go with Booker T Washington. And, Mike, you also saw Kawita last week. What an impressive victory that was at Midwest City Carl Albert. Yeah, impressive. Uh, they did, and, and Kawita had some things go against them, really didn't play very well for the first for the first. Uh, uh, quarter, or actually, it wasn't them not playing well. Uh, Carl Albert has a really strong defense, and and Coeta really couldn't get much done. But uh, they kind of took over the game, and yeah, that was fairly impressive. I don't think Carl Albert has uh, one of these teams that's going to win an 11th state title, but um, they're um, always, you know, uh, capable and and uh, impressive win for Coeta on the road. And another big game this week will be the Highway 97 rivalry, Sand Springs at Sepulpa. And Mike, both teams are 2-0 for the first time in a long time. For, a, for the first time in a long time. And, and uh, having, having grown up in one of those schools, which I will not say here, um, I know that it's, uh, it's a, a game that's heartfelt in both communities. Thanks for joining us this week, and we'll see you next week.